Do you remember this Valentino Couture lipstick set that I unboxed in my last Self Love Saturday video? I'll put a link to the video above. I have taken this little set and turned it into a crossbody mini bag. If you're interested in seeing the transformation, keep watching. Welcome to another episode of Make It Purse Ano. the tools that I use to convert that little clutch to a crossbody. So I have a screwdriver, I have a hole puncher, I have a tape measure, but you can use a ruler instead, which I do recommend using a ruler. I have these two little bars that I use to put on the side and the screws that came with it. I will put a link to the bars that I put on the side of the clutch below, but you can also use a D-ring or whatever hardware that you choose to add in order to add the strap to the clutch. So for this project, we are just adding some rings to the side of this clutch to make this like a crossbody. Of course, you can just wear it without any, you know, straps or anything, you know, under the crook of the arms. But this could be a little uncomfortable, the studs here. So I'm just going to add rings, pretty much what I did on this little mini clutch here. Now, again, these are actually the beauty uh, pieces. I mean, they're called Valentino have a little compact that they call a go clutch so these remind me of those glow clutches so um i thought okay you know what i could turn this into a clutch too and this is even better than the go clutch in that you can actually put something in these in the go clutch it comes with makeup so you can't put anything else in it other than the makeup it fits in you know quite nicely so with these, these do come with lipsticks in them, but you can actually take them out of these clutches. Like here's a whole, you know, set that comes in, but you can actually take this whole thing, pop it out, and you can put in, you know, a wallet or whatever inside. If you have a phone that is small enough, that also, also can be put inside. You can actually wear this as an actual clutch, you know, and this is way, I mean, considerably, ridiculously less than actually buying a Valentino clutch um, from, you know, from the handbag line. That, again, this is a beauty. This is the beauty product, not, you know, their regular handbag line. But again, this is, this is pretty good quality. Um, you know, of course, it's not going to be real leather and, you know, it just has the Valentino on it and it has the beautiful logo on it. I mean, it really can be used as a actual clutch bag. So that's what I'm doing today. And but for me, I like to have the option, the versatility of being able to wear, you know, a clutch crossbody, particularly because this one is so uncomfortable to wear under the crook of the arm. So if you're interested in that, keep watching this video. The first thing you want to do to add the rings on the side, you know, each side is going to need a ring in order for you to be able to connect a chain to this. So in order to do this, there are a couple of alterations you're going to need to do. Now, if you don't want to alter, if you don't want to put holes in the side, which will be covered up, but if you don't want to put any holes in the clutch, then I don't recommend this for you. So this will require me to put holes in it. And again, the holes will be covered up. As you can see from the exterior, you cannot see any holes looking at this that I did previously. Now on the interior, you can see where I did put the holes, but I'm actually going to glue this in. And if, when I glue that, you won't be able to tell. Like over here, you won't be able to tell once I glue these back together. So that's basically what the end product will look like. To get started, you're going to open up the clutch 
and the front to reveal the lipsticks on the inside. So first you wanna take this insert out. So I just pulled on the lip stick holder here and it allowed me to pull this all the way out. Okay, once you have that insert out, then you want to take the interior, like so the interior has this kind of fold leather folded into it along the sides. What you wanna do is you want to unfold this without damaging it to expose the like cardboard or whatever they have underneath this because this is where you want to drill your holes into and you want to be able to take this faux leather piece and cover the holes back up the other clutch did not have you know it had like a little cardboard that you could easily pull down like here but this one actually have a leather or faux leather piece that's covering it so here you just want to pull that up. Now you want to use whatever, you know, tool that will not damage, but just pull this piece away from the other material. I think it's like a cardboard material. I just use whatever I could find around, just laying around. And for me, I had this like crocheted needle here. So I just took that to go up under the faux leather piece so i just use it to go up under and pull it apart here and then start you know with my hand to pull it now i you do have to pull it apart on the longer end even though i'm not drilling holes here i needed to pull this up in order to access this other piece where i will be drawing the holes so now on the other piece i'm just going to pull that part up and get it see i'm pulling it up here just so i can grip it with my hand very slowly pull it away from the cardboard because i don't want to damage this piece the whole point is to preserve it so that you can use it to cover the holes and make the final product look more professional like if you don't really care about seeing the metal on the inside then you don't have to do this step but I'm just, I just want it to look really professional. So yeah, this is where I'm gonna be drilling my holes. So now it's exposed so that once I drill the holes, put the screws in, I can just fold that back. Fold this one down and then that one down. I have my sides lifted, both sides, this side and this side. And the next step is to really measure to see exactly where you want to put your holes in order to put the rings. So, I use a measuring tape here, and this is kind of subjective. I mean, it just depends on where you think the ring should land at on your um, clutch. Now, you also got to keep in mind uh, that this has to balance out. So wherever you put the ring at, you don't want to, like, for example, you don't want to put it too far down because it will cause the balance of, like when you wear it crossbody, you know, it, it will cause the balance to be off and the bag won't kind of stay upright. It'll be kind of leaning forward. For example, when we look at this, you see, I, I think I came down like one inch for the first um, part of the, the top of the ring. And so the ring has two screws. So, you know, so there's like two holes that will be made, as you can see here. And you gotta keep in mind the length of the ring itself. Like I have these, these are like a bigger, thicker ring and they're a little longer. So they're, 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 they're actually more of a bar than a ring. I've been calling them a ring, but they're more of a bar. And you wanna make sure that it's like not too far down and you don't want it to be I mean, I guess you could go up higher if you want, but I like to come down just a little so that, you know, it's a good balance where it doesn't, like the bag doesn't kind of lean forward. Like for example here, I think this is a great balance because it's still, even with the ring, the bar here and the chain on it, it still doesn't kind of lean forward. Even if you were like, it, it, it leans forward a little. I mean, it's gonna do that because of the 
weight of it, but it's still, it's kind of more upright. But the lower you go, the more it's going to lean forward. So I, I tried to keep it up a little higher. And maybe I'll just go up a little higher on this one. Because this one is heavier just because it's a larger clutch. It's longer. It's more of a rectangular shape. Maybe I'll come in at a half inch instead of going down to an inch like I did on the previous. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Now... You can like mark it to make sure you come in at the same spot. And we're only talking about the distance from the top to the point you want to put the drill the holes. Now you're also going to have to measure, you know, the width here, like where exactly, you know, if you want to do it in the middle, you know, you want to measure the width of this which is like one, not quite 1.5. It's just like 1.4. So, you know, if you want to get somewhere in the middle of 1.4 to, you know, but you basically want to mark it so that you, when you do your hole, you're making sure you're doing your hole in the right spot. So that's your measurements is whatever you feel comfortable or whatever you want for, you know, the, the, this bar to show up on the bag. So now that I have my markings, I don't know if you can see, but I have my little markings here. Now I'm going to go ahead and drill the actual hole. And I'm actually not going to drill. I'm just going to use this little tool to create the hole. So what you want to do is go to where you mark to drill, to put your hole in and make sure you just stick whatever you're using to create the hole through it. So I'm just going to basically push on it until I get through the cardboard here and to the other side. So you make sure you just stick it through to the other side. Also, make sure that your little faux leather piece is up out of the way. You don't, you really don't want to put a hole in this if you're intending to cover up the screw with this. So you, you might want to make sure that's out of the way before you stick this all the way through to create a hole on the other side. So it already has gone through. And what I like to do as well is flip it to the inside where the hole is and also stick you know whatever you're using through on that side as well to make sure that both sides are you know like you have a full hole there so you can get the screw through so i just stick it through that make sure that the, the hole is opened and now voila here we go Next, I want to make sure that the screw can, in fact, fit through the hole. So here's the screw that I'm going to be using for that bar. And I'm just going to stick it into the hole that has been created. So you just want to stick it into the hole to make sure it can go all the way through. And that's where you're going to probably have to play around to find out, okay, how much of the hole is open so that the screw can fit in. So what I end up doing is you make, you're going to have to go back and forth with, you know, playing around with the hole, making sure it's wide enough so that the screw can fit inside of it all right so here I'm just trying to get the screw in and as you can see here the screw is in I think it's enough for the bar itself here to screw on to it you may have to continue playing around with it to make sure it's clear so that you can be able to screw the bar onto it. 
So what I normally do is I normally attach the bar to the one screw first so that I can figure out, okay, how, where should I put this second hole so that it lines up with the first hole? So I, you know, I don't have to do any more actual measurement, just, you know, making sure that it lines up. So all I did was just screw the bar on to the first screw here and now it tells me you know once it's lined up it'll tell me okay where to put the second hole so once it's there screwed on then you can figure out okay here's the second hole where it goes so with that being said the second hole is about here so this is where i just put a little imprint here so i could go back and Put it over and yeah so now you can see here's where i need to put my second hole to make sure that i can screw the other side in so basically you're going to use the same method that you used before to make that first hole just be very careful you don't want to tear the cardboard i mean it's strong but it's not that strong and you also want to make sure you move this little flap out of the way. So now that you have, you know, I have the two screws on, now you're just going to put the bar on. So you just put, I normally just screw one side and then the other side, I use a small screwdriver to do this side. So I ended up using my screwdriver to do this. That little screwdriver really wasn't working. So basically I just took the screwdriver, stuck it in and twisted it until it screwed all the way in. As you can see now it's flushed. So the screw is all the way in. So this side is completely done now. So the next side, so, you know, as you can see here, if you fold it down, it'll be covered up and you can't even tell where the screws are. And now the outside, I have to work out this little mark here I use for the measurement, but outside looks pretty perfect to me. So just like what I wanted. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other side off camera and I'm gonna show you the finished product. So basically I've done the other side. As you can see, I have the bar screwed in. So basically I took the flap here, came down, but basically screwed the screw in on both sides here. Uh, using my screwdriver and just basically screwed both sides in here into the bar. Now we're ready to close one side, close the other side, and then this one. Now I can use an adhesive to make sure they stay down, you know, all nice and neat. I'm going to do that. That's the next step is you want to glue back your sides. If you decided to do this way and hide the screws, then yeah, you would just use an adhesive to glue this down and keep it, you know, um, you know, all nice and neat like it was before. And so that's done. Now the next step, now that we have rings, you can add on your chain. So this bar on mine is pretty thick. So I need a, a deep, like a ring to go on it in order to put the chain. Cause I'm actually going to use a actual Valentino chain on this bag, on this clutch. So I'm going to use my Valentino chain from my, um, I'm going to use the chain from my Valentino Rock Stud bag here. Here's the chain. 
and i did a review on this bag so i'll have a link to my rock stud so you can see that but it is a beautiful gunmetal hardware on it so this chain i think will be perfect with this black now to attach it i'm going to use these rings here i'll put the link to so you can purchase these if you're interested in using these i like these because they just kind of push in so literally i'm just going to take the ring push it in and attach it to the bar and then i'm going to take the valentino chain and attach it to this ring because the valentino opening here it, it's not a you know it doesn't widen any you know go, get any wider than it is so it won't fit over this bar because the bar is too thick now you can use different hardware and you may not you know you won't have these problems but if you do plan to use your valentino if you have like a gunmetal valentino chain then um i found this would be best for you know what i wanted to accomplish here so just gonna put it on that ring and voila there it is so to me this looks like it's something that could have been purchased exactly like this just want to make sure that's back yep so here we go now i'm going to do the same thing to the other side basically going to use the push just push that in here to put it on the ring or the bar here and then next we're going to push it in to add the valentino chain here so here you're just going to push that in and add the valentino chain and there you go so now now we have the bag chain attached for both sides so you can wear this as a crossbody if you found this video helpful don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thanks for watching